Ah, Wamurena Kanti, where's the high mileage BMW? Everywhere I go, it's always the same question and I get it. Because you guys deserve to know what's next. I can't just introduce something and leave you hanging. Every storyline deserves a proper ending. This is not skim sum. So the big question is what's happening or what's next? This year I decided to talk less about new cars and focus more on used cars. Various brands have been launching new cars like your Omoda C5, Citroen C3, Toyota Vids, Volvos, Jeep, and, 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 and. I'm not really interested in all that. That's why you won't see me reviewing an Omoda anytime soon, because it doesn't align with my content strategy. I will cover a few new cars here and there, but my focus is mostly on used cars. So to add some weight on my used car content, I thought it would be best for me to also buy a used car for the second time because my first car was also a second hand. That's how I came up with the high mileage German car idea. And since I'm a Bima fan, I narrowed my search down to BMW. What you guys don't know is that I decided to split the series into different phases. Phase 1, 2 and 3. Phase 1 is the part where I was teaching you about patience. I shortlisted different cars and closely monitored their price. We saw an F10 M5 dropping from 440,000 rands down to 420. 420 to 414, 414 to 398. Then there's the F30 320D. It dropped from 450,000 rands down to 429. 429 down to 419. Then finally down to 409 and it disappeared. All the cars are gone and the last man standing is the M135i. It was initially going for 319,000 rands, then it dropped to 305. It disappeared for a couple of weeks and resurfaced with a price of 291,900. It dropped to Boma 283,000 rands and still no one bought it and it's now on a clearance auction. It has been gathering dust for just over 4 months. So now we are done with phase 1. And I think I've demonstrated the importance of being patient when you are shopping for a used car. And it is very important to know when to strike. Because in most cases if you wait for too long you lose. Now we are in phase 2. That's why I am no longer posting any BMW search videos. I clown a lot but I am not dumb. So in phase 2 I will be doing my thing behind the scenes. I've shortlisted new cars that you guys don't know about and I won't be posting them because it would really be silly to take good deals and show them to over 100,000 people. So I'm keeping my cards close to my chest. But don't worry, you won't miss out on anything. I'll try my best to document everything and share the juice once our car is here. The plan is going really well, I even found a mechanic. All I need now is problems every after two weeks or a month. And if things get messy, you guys have to help me get a new engine because we are in this together. Otherwise, I will be content for my BM. Back to Suzuki. And speaking of Suzuki, I have been living with the Swift Sport for just over 2 months now and I am really enjoying it. A part of me wanted to drop this silly BMW exercise and take the Swift Sport once. I even posted a poll asking you which car would you go for between a low mileage Swift Sport and a high mileage M135i. 10,000 people voted and 63% chose Swift Sport. I'm with a high mileage BMW gang so with my mind I'm going to buy a BM. But we have a small problem cause I want a 3 series and Mama Gasno says it's too long. She wants us to buy a 2 series coupe and I think she's dizzy cause the car must have 4 doors. If it's a 2 door, it must only come with 2 seats. If there's back seats, I move your kibela and jani more thing as it come get my seat to be so to show me to go to your baby. So phase 2 is gonna be really interesting. I'm busy cooking a special episode but the soup spot is a bit of a distraction. As soon as it leaves, you'll see. After the phase 2 special episode, we're moving to phase 3, where I'll be introducing the new people's car. In order to prepare myself for our high mileage Beamer, I went through tons of Decra reports studying common BMW problems and gearbox and engine oil leak is on top of the list. Then there's cooling system and steering rack problems. Speaking of problems, I saw an F30 going for 85,000 rands, saying sale in progress. And I hope the person buying it just wants to strip it for parts cause you can't buy an 85,000 rands F30 and expect to live happily ever after. 
The problem with we buy cars category B vehicles is that they are sometimes bought by private used car dealers, both Peter and Sons, and they resell them to other people without disclosing the problems. I've seen quite a number of terrible cars that we buy cars with an endless list of problems, and for whatever reason, people still buy them. But as Pumela, because that's not my business. The things I discovered through this BMW exercise are wild. Special deals that are not really special, cars disappearing and resurfacing after a couple of days or weeks, it's just a lot. Now I even know how long it takes on average for a dealer to sell a used Beamer. Most of the cars are usually not sold at the initial listing price. I've studied the pattern and I can plot it on a graph, but we'll deal with that in phase 3. Today's video was just an update to let you know what's happening. So in summary, we are done with phase 1, we have a phase 2 special episode coming, then we will move on to phase 3 fast fast, because time is no longer on our side. It's gonna be December real soon and we started this around March. So yeah, that's all for today. Thank you for watching, don't forget to like, share and subscribe to the channel for more car content in a context.